Drawing Rooms is an exhibition in the museum Paul Tete van Elven about drawing education at the Delft University of Technology and its forerunners. In this room you can see the history of this drawing education in the 19th century. Tete van Elven taught according to the method he knew from the Art Academy. The students started by copying prints and plates, then small objects, and the highest level involved was drawing human figures from plaster casts. This method, in fact, trained to be a visual artist rather than a builder or engineer. Later, utensils were drawn that were selected based on the materials and techniques. The decorative art department found this a more contemporary teaching method. The teacher Le Comte built up a study collection of historical utensils, which was later expanded by his successor Slautermann. Le Comte was a man of practice. His students learned about the application of a certain material with the connections and shapes that go with it. The teaching collection was presented as far as possible in a period room. Period rooms were complete interiors in a historical style, such as Renaissance or Baroque. The exhibition features drawings of period rooms by Karel Sluitermann. Some of the exhibits from the teaching collection, also named after Sluitermann, can be seen in his drawings. At the end of the 19th century, the Dutch Renaissance became de rigueur for architects and designers. For the furnishing of period rooms, they looked at 17th century paintings. The predilection for historical styles was evident in the interiors of the wealthy bourgeoisie. The same elements appear over and over. A spherical lake table in the middle of the room, a chandelier, a painting about the fireplace. After this overview, we will go to the second part of the exhibition. Nine students from the Faculty of Architecture of Delft University of Technology get the assignment to design an exhibition of objects from the Sluitermann collection in the museum. The final design proposals must be presented in a drawing. The first step is to document space. The two rooms are measured and accurately documented. Different drawing techniques are tried out. Small details, which are hardly noticeable at first, are also important. Then the students look at the use of the spaces. They take a good look of how visitors move that is recorded in drawings. They speak to the employees, visitors and management. A variety of spatial impressions are combined.
Sometimes a drawing is combined with text. Now the collection must be documented. The students visit the historical Sluitermann collection in the archives of the Technical University. Objects are studied in the catalogue. Then they have to select which objects they want to exhibit. Creating a design starts with an inspiring idea. It's important to capture this idea. In a quick sketch, but also in a more precise drawing. Then it can be discussed with others. It is also important to regularly confront the later design with the initial idea. The design is presented in a drawing. The various parts of the exhibition are precisely recorded. A perspective drawing shows how the visitor will experience the design. A drawing doesn't have to imitate reality, but can be used to emphasize essential things. The project is finished. The space has been explored, the use has been mapped, the collection documented, ideas came to mind, and finally the design is presented in several drawings. A lot has been drawn. Some designs were not feasible. In preparation for the project, a group of students researched part of the interior of this museum as part of their thesis. This research then served as the basis for the design.